Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today I am extraordinarily happy and very grateful to be able to give you an unboxing that is unlike any other that I've done before I think and hopefully in here we are about to find a pen possibly from the 1930s but definitely a very old pen that has been sent to me by a very generous uh, viewer so thank you very much GF um yeah I suppose without further ado we should really get stuck in this because I'm very curious to see what on earth is going on in here uh just a quick setup for this video we've got a couple of pens here just to stack it up against and see how big it is and what it's like and how it writes and stuff got some uh, army cartridges here I think I'll put the blue one in but we will have to see exactly what's what with it we've got uh, some converter cartridges in there and we've also got an ink bottle because I have really no idea what to expect and also maybe to help get the ink flowing um, we've got a wet cloth and a dry cloth just out here but my goodness me thank you very much let's uh, let's dive straight in so be extraordinarily careful at this point got this uh, packaged in an old tobacco tin here or in a tobacco tin rather oh look at me tearing into it I'm too excited uh, we've got a note supplied of it which I will I will keep as a, a private um, a private uh, little message all right my goodness me Let's go. It will look well if this turns out to be an empty tub. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Oh, a little bit further to go. Oh, this is looking very nice. Where's our lid? Now. Here we have the, the main event. Oh, fantastic. Look, it's, I cannot think for the life of me what it is called. The ink bottle is very handy here, but we have got one of these. Um, oh, little, this is how you suck the ink up. Right, I will be back with you in a second. So my friends, you might have just noticed that when I realised this was a lever filled pen and couldn't even think of the term for a lever, that my general uh, voiceover to this video went completely all over the place. So I thought I'd re-record the audio for this section and take a moment to show you some close-ups of the nib and the body. So you can see it's got Osmeroid written all over it and it says Osmeroid 65 on the body, which you'll see in just a second. I've had a quick scout around the internet and found people talking about finding these pens in boxes with uh, dates from the 1960s and somebody who says that they have a husband who remembers these from school in the 1950s and my original source for this pen also puts it back into that era and possibly even earlier than that so so far we've managed to track it back to the 1950s and well my goodness me this is absolutely beautiful thing anyway let's get it in action so my friends hopefully i just managed to show you some close-up pictures and give you a little bit of a general chat about anything i've discovered about this pen so i suppose now uh well it's a lever fill pen so we shall start working this lever now i've never filled one of these up before so if this is a total disaster please forgive me I'm gonna use some lamy green ink we'll just get a bit of blotting paper off the edge here and, well, I suppose, without further ado, let's give this a go. So, I believe, if I am getting this correct, we want to flip that down as far as it goes, which is all the way down. Dip this in, and I'm going to try not to breathe too heavily all over the camera here. Dip the nib in, and... Flip the lever up. I've no idea if that's correct. I'm assuming that hopefully we shall have some sort of writing capabilities regardless because we've got the nib totally covered in ink here. 
Uh, you can see there's some um, dark ink in there, maybe black or blue, that's mixed in with the green at the moment. So that's why it might be appearing as a very dark colour there, because, well, it is. I can see, again, uh, yeah, no, first um, impressions here now. Right, this is uh, feeling very light and very smooth on the paper. Definitely a lot smoother than the Parker IM, I've got to say that immediately. And I personally feel, if I uh, zoom in maybe, perhaps that'll be of some interest. Let's see. Yeah, ignore my writing, it's terrible. Big thank you to our very ger generous donor for sending this in. Oh, this is just fantastic. You know, you can tell that I'm absolutely loving this uh, unboxing of this pen and everything that I'm doing in this video and this sort of general discovery here of using the lever to fill it because I've been so quiet and I'm assuming that I will have had to uh, probably do a voiceover over most of this middle section of the video as it's probably being very quiet and then me saying a lot of stuff that doesn't really make too much sense. Oh, this, I absolutely love this. You know what? Well, I'm very impressed with this. I really do like this. It's Like I say, it feels so light and it feels definitely extremely smooth on the paper here. And it's, I mean, you can see, uh, and to say this has been sent in a, wrapped up in a kitchen roll in a tobacco box and I've just literally inked it up and started using it straight away. And you can see, obviously, it's not green ink coming out here, so it's mixed in with other ink in there. So this, well, again, to be writing so smoothly and you've got these like, pretty uniform lines coming out, obviously it goes lighter as you do it quicker and stuff, as you would expect. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I'm really, really thoroughly enjoying this pen already. Yeah, just thank you so much. You know who you are right there. And, I've got a feeling that I could easily see myself jotting down with my little notebooks when I'm out and about and going up the hills and all the rest of it, doing my normal walks, or maybe sit down and jot a little entry into my journal if I'm going home someday or something like that. But, oh, just fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sending this to me. Thank you very much to everybody else for tuning in and watching. Oh, I am absolutely over the moon. I'm just so happy to have a lever pen. I cannot believe it. That's oh, just absolutely brilliant. Stay tuned because I've got loads of um, writing and journals and pens and notebook videos coming. There's loads already on the channel and loads of stuff about boat life and that. But right now, I'm not even doing all the usual plugs. Links in the description to loads of different stuff. I'm going to just get straight on the internet and see if I can find out more info about this pen. Fantastic stuff. Thank you absolutely for everything. Keep it pen worthy, keep it interesting, and of course, my friends, farewell.